We're, we're demonstrating a, a new way of, of rolling out small cell site gateways. Traditionally, uh, a gateway like this would have been a, a closed fixed function box. And what over here you'll see our small cell itself and, and our network traffic running through the small cell up into our top of our X switch and uh, into the Radisys uh, based small cell gateway. And we have uh, software implementing the functions in a virtualized environment. And, and really what we wanted to do is ask the folks here at Mobile World Congress what type of, of, of uh, new functionality, new business models are created by opening up that, that uh, small cell gateway. Um, so we have, I I in, our, in our demonstration, we have uh, an evolved packet core integrated onto the platform, and we think that creates some interesting business questions to the service providers uh, in terms of, of uh, the ways that they can deploy the uh, virtual EPCs uh, for the enterprise owner themselves in terms of hosting their hardware and, and, and leasing it out to service providers for integrating th that functionality, for the local breakout possibilities from the, the IP traffic coming out from the, the, the uh, enterprise area. And then, so we, we have our, 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 our security firewall and, and, and securing the platform is provided by Clavister. And so w with our, our smart small cell gateway, with its a, a, a virtual EPC integrated onto the platform, very smart intelligent platform, well, what else can we bring to this platform? What other applications can be brought, down, br brought to bear? In this slide, on the left hand side, you can see the many different types of wireless protocols that are flowing through. Top left for Pico base station, Wi-Fi access point, and the IoT gateway. And all that traffic is coming down, if it, flowing down into the, the base hardware provided by Radisys. So a lot of important traffic that's just running through here. So this needs to be a carrier grade equipment, but also needs to be cuts from, from a, an expense perspective. It needs to be scalable. It needs to be able to breed up and down. The, the, the functionality living on this hardware needs to breed up and down based on the, the network needs. Above the, the, the on, on top of the Radisys hardware, it's, it's fully locked down with the security firewall uh, and gateway functionality from Clavister. And then above that, you have the on the left hand side, you can see the, the uh, EPC from Connectum. Um, to the right, then you see the Yanzi Internet of Things management software. And that's a great example of the uh, services that can be rolled out in this very open platform. So what's really significant about this, it, it's showing that NFE is a reality, both in terms of the, the demand we're hearing here at Mobile World Congress and the ability for the, for the broad uh, ecosystem and, and companies out there to be able to pull together a platform like this in, in breakneck speed. Um, there's also great opportunity for, for services on, on a platform like this when you open that up. What we have seen today is a building monitoring and security system implemented with a small cell gateway and virtual EPC and IoT management running on the Radisys T-Series platform, which leverages the latest Intel Xeon technology and Kaleido Creek, which makes or provides a performance to make all this possible. Radisys T-Series platforms is a very scalable platform that comes in different form factors in order to address different density requirements. You have 2U compact solution for low density deployments, for mid-density, you have 6U Pro Series. And then for very high density, mobile core network requirements, you have 14U Ultra Series. And this is the scalable solution or scalable platform that really makes the small cell gateway possible and thereby makes Internet of Things possible for the carriers.